Hi, my name is Craig Palmer, and I'm an artist uh, living here in Boulder, Colorado, and I'd like to welcome you to my studio today. Uh, before I take you in and show you what I've been working on, I just want to give you a little background information on myself. Um, I graduated from Parsons School of Design in 1983 with a degree in illustration. Um, honestly, since then, uh, I really haven't painted that much. Uh, I got married right after graduation. I had four kids, and um, I opened my own business. It was an ad agency, a design firm, and I had my own business for about 25 years. So painting really wasn't a priority for me. Uh, I didn't have much time to fit it into my life. Um, but my wife and I recently moved from Sarasota, Florida to up to Boulder here in the fall. Uh, my wife took a, a job at Charlotte's Web here in Boulder. And I'm at the stage of my life where I'm able to do uh, something I've always wanted to do, and that is to paint full time. So after the first of the year uh, in 2020, I decided to make that my focus. And as an artist, I prefer to focus on portraits. Um, I always, uh, I've always loved the connection I make with my clients um, when I'm painting a portrait of a loved one um, who's passed away or they're marking a milestone in their life. Um, I also paint a lot of portraits of uh, pets. And um, that also is very, it's a very fulfilling thing for me to paint a person's uh, beloved animal who passed away um, or you know someone, you know, their favorite dog and cat and, and whatnot. So I love the connection I make with my, with my client through portrait painting. Uh, I find it very satisfying as an artist. So since uh, I haven't painted much over the years, um, you know, I may have painted a couple portraits a year, a couple pictures a year, uh, and I could go literally five years between uh, periods of picking up a brush. Uh, it would be the point where I'd go to paint and I haven't painted in many years. I'd open my paints, they'd all be hard rock, solid as a rock. I had to toss them out and, uh, and start all over again. And that got a little bit expensive and frustrating and everything else. So now that I'm, uh, I'm doing this basically full time, uh, I know the way to make myself a better portrait artist is to paint a lot of portraits. So what I've done, um, is I've made contact with a very wonderful foundation here through a friend of mine. Uh, it's called the Davis Finney Foundation. And the Davis Finney Foundation works with people with Parkinson's. And to help me out, to help them out, I offered to paint them a, uh, a bunch of portraits for free. So I approached them and said, listen, I'm willing to paint whoever you want me to paint, um, any of the clients you work with, any anybody, anybody that you, uh, any of your beneficiaries or anything like that, um, I'll paint them for free um, so I can get, because I want to experience, I want to experience painting portraits. And it's also for a great cause. Hopefully the portraits I paint, in some way we can monetize those and help use those to raise money for the foundation. So what I've agreed to do is paint 30 to 40 portraits of their ambassadors. Um, between now and, uh, well, January 1 and uh, sometime in August. Uh, the virus has shaken things up, so we're not really sure when we're, gonna, when we're gonna present those. But in the meantime, I'm painting a lot of portraits. So right now, I've got about 17 portraits uh, for the Davis Finney Foundation underway, and they're in various stages of progression. And uh, I'd like to take you in and show you what I'm working on. So this is my studio. Now this is what would have been the dining room of my house. And I've um, corralled that and made it into my studio. Unfortunately, um, I was having conversations with Abby and Cindy from Bohemia Studio, which is right here in North Boulder, and it's only a stone's throw from where I live. And I was gonna rent some space from those, uh, those folks and uh, have my studio in there. Unfortunately, Within a couple of weeks of talking to them about doing that, the uh, coronavirus hit and quarantine went into effect. And that all those plans uh, kind of just fell apart uh, up until, you know, we'll wait and see what happens after the virus. So in the meantime, I've made my dining room into my studio. And you can see there is a work hazard in this particular studio, and that's the dining room light. So that light is only a few feet from my easel. And uh, I have to tell you, uh, I bump into that light. That light is below my head height. And uh, I bump my head into that light about 25 to 50 times every day. And uh, yeah, it is annoying, but it's just one of the hazards of the job. 
So I placed that stool there. So uh, when I back up to uh, admire my work from afar, um, I know if I hit the stool, I shortly then will hit the light. So the stool helps prevent me from banging my head, not quite as much. So what I have up on the easel, I've taken some of the portraits I've been working on and um, I put them up on the easel. So you can see these, these are the portraits I'm painting for Davis Finney. Um, these are their ambassadors. And these are 12 inch by 12 inch oil paintings and they're on wood panels. And um, I've been working on these. Oh, I do really think it started till the end of January, beginning of February. And we've got some, put some more down here on the floor. Hopefully you can see those. And I've really enjoyed painting these portraits. Um, I've got a green light to do whatever I want. And I've just been experimenting with how I complete them. Um, I've also been painting some landscapes, just some experimenting with some landscapes, uh, some still lifes. I don't know if you can see that. My, my phone isn't very great. I've been working on some clouds and some various still lifes. Um, I, these are just from photographs, basically, that I've downloaded from the internet. Uh, some of them actually are paintings that I like. And I found it very helpful to paint paintings from artists that you like. You can learn a lot about their technique. You can learn a lot about their brush strokes. And I really learned a lot from doing that. So this is my drying rack. And these are some a bunch of other pictures I have under varying levels of progress. Um, I'm working on uh, doing some scrumbles and uh, putting some glazes on and whatnot. So um, this is it. This is my studio. I have a cart. Uh, for my paints, just a craftsman tool cart. Works out very well. I can move it around pretty well. Uh, this painting, I want to talk about this painting just a little bit. This is a painting of a uh, little girl's name was Charlotte Figge, and she was the namesake for my the company my wife works for, Charlotte's Web. Uh, Charlotte was a little girl who was born with severe ep epilepsy, and she lived her life with severe ep epileptic seizures. Uh, she would have 200 to 300 of these seizures a week, and uh, the child was in um, it was a very, very difficult time for her parents. And it got to the point where the doctor said there was nothing else they could do for her, nothing had worked, and uh, they should prepare uh, for the worst. They um, sought out some help and they met the Stanley Brothers from Charlotte's Web. And uh, the Stanley Brothers were making a CBD um, oil then. And uh, they found that CBD had a lot of properties that uh, helped um, people with seizures and they mixed up a special batch. Uh, they, they worked with Charlotte and found out what, uh, what worked for her. And um, the CBD they developed for her uh, went, took her seizures from three to about 300 a week to two to three a month. And they were very mild seizures at that. So uh, at the age of six or seven, I'm not sure how old she was, but she was able to uh, get a, a, you know, start living a, a, a fulfilling life without, without seizures. Unfortunately, um, she became ill with uh, the coronavirus and she passed away uh, in April from complications of that virus at the age of 13. Um, and I painted this as a parent. Um, I, nobody asked me to paint it. Uh, nobody's paying me to paint it. And I painted it because I'm a dad with four kids and the idea of losing your child um, after all those struggles and well, losing your child period, but after all those struggles and finally finding peace in her life and uh, for the virus to take her, uh, it was a tragedy to me and it broke my heart. And uh, as a dad, it really affected me. So, you know, I, I just made this picture of Charlotte uh, holding the butterfly, representing uh, the birth, her rebirth, her spiritual rebirth. Um, and hopefully, maybe we'll give this, uh, hopefully we'll give it to the company and the company perhaps will give it to Charlotte's family. So anyway, um, again, that's part of the reason I paint is the spiritual connection with my clients. These, uh, the ambassadors from Davis Finney are all beautiful human beings and I feel very, 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 very lucky and fortunate that I'm, they're allowing me to paint them. And I feel a real connection to my, to my subjects when I paint. So, yep, this is my studio slash former dining room. And uh, I'm glad you, you all came to see it. And uh, I thank you for watching my video. 
You can see I have an Instagram page at Craig Palmer Art, and my website is craigpalmerart.com. And I'm really looking forward for this quarantine to get over, and uh, I'd love to sit down with you and have a beer or a cup of coffee or a glass of wine, whatever you'd like, and, and just uh, get to know each other. But thank you very much for watching, and uh, I hope to meet you all soon. Thank you.